It's Go Go Media Girl, and I'm here with Mr. Edward from BBC. And right now we're in BBC office. Um, so, what do you do here at BBC? Hi, my name is Edward Treu. I stay here around in Johannesburg in the small town called Springs. Uh, what I do here in the BBC, I actually came here in the BBC as a technical intern. But then as days go by, I sort of uh, unlock another potential in me, which I didn't know. Because when you hear, you almost do everything. So I've learned a lot since I've been here in BBC. But my duty was to be a technical intern, work with cameras, setting up tripods and lights and everything of some sort, yeah. So you're an intern here, that's all? Cool. So what have you learned about cameras and everything while you've been here? No, the, the, I've, I've been learning about cameras ever since I was at school because my first course I did was uh, an SAPC initiative which is NEMISA. It's right here in Parktown and then my second course was uh, with a Big Fish School of Digital Filmmaking where I was doing a documentary filmmaking which was uh, sponsored by DSTV. So what I do here, the reason why I came here in the BBC Bureau, which is here in Johannesburg, is that I wanted to know more about the news environment, what's happening in the news environment, because I can see each and every time when I watch news, uh, I see, I, I wanted to know more what are these people get up to when, they, uh, when, they, when they're on the field, because it's totally a different genre from your drama series, your TV shows, and all that stuff. So that I've, I did explore before, but then I wanted to know more about the news uh, environment, what's happening there, and everything. And also what I've noticed here in the news environment is that you have to, you got to develop a, th a thick skin. You have to think on your feet, because sometimes you can be seated on your table comfortably, and then they will tell you that they are breaking news, something is happening in Pretoria. You must grab your camera and run. It's like you must think on your feet. And if you miss a shot, there's no time to, to get that shot again. It's like you must seize the moment. You must be always on your feet. Yeah? Yeah, how is it working with um, females? Yeah. Uh, I mean, working with females, I don't see any difference working with females. I respect them as human, and I think, uh, uh, I think it's their time too as female to rise up the ladder. I mean, because it's always been a man field and all that stuff. So, I, I mean, I, I respect them and their ideas. It's just that we don't have to, to go with the perception of uh, like females, they, they are not capable of doing one, two, three. I think me as, a, as an individual, I listen to, to their ideas so that I can learn more as well in what I'm doing because they've got a lot to offer as well. Okay. Any skills that you would um, like to say about um, working with that, <clears throat> um, stuff like lighting and cameras and everything? Okay, truly speaking, what I will say to, 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 to the people who are in the same age as me, even the younger the up and coming, I will say, first of all, they need to be disciplined, they need to be, commitment, they need to be committed, and they need to be dedicated, and then they, they need to go to school first. School is important. Uh, talent alone, talent only, it's not enough. But talent is only, it's only, according to me, it's only 20%, and the rest is dedication, commitment, and I think that's what can drive you in, to be in, in this part of environment. Okay. Any tips that you would give somebody um, wanting to um, work with cameras and wires and everything? Because sometimes I, I believe uh, people who are in the media, it's uh, it's sort of it's natural. It's a natural talent. Sometimes you know, if they have some ideas or anything they want to 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 to, to propose to any broadcaster, they mustn't be shy. They must just go there, write a little proposal, and that's how it will start. Cause with me as well, uh, when I uh, started, first started 2007. I didn't have any formal education of some sort. I had a traineeship. I was on a traineeship. I was working, but not getting paid at the very same time. So yeah. Well, that was Mr. Edward from BBC and Go Go Media Girl.